diamonds in the rough. NFL Draft Diamonds. Time to shine. Hi, my name is Jimmy Williams with NFL Draft Diamonds, and today I have with me Brian Walker. He's one of these draft diamonds. He's a tight end out of uh, Shepherd University. Uh, nice to have you with me, sir. Nice to be here. So, yeah, I mean, every so often um, I'm, I'm, I'll have a, an opportunity to talk to a guy who kind of lives right down the street. Doesn't, you know, happen that often, but I mean, I know you're uh, more or less a local prospect. Um a uh, part of a great organization there with Shepard. You guys have had a great offense over the past few years. Um, but if you don't mind, just kind of set the stage. Uh, tell me where you're from and um, how you got there to Shepard. So I was born and raised in um, Germantown, Maryland. Uh, I went to Clarksburg High School. I went to all four years. Uh, coming out of high school, I was recruited by uh, a few D2 and a few lower the D1s. But uh, Coach McCook had ended up coming in. I believe he was the offensive coordinator at the time. He came in and, record and uh, was recruiting people and talked to me for a little bit. And he came in with all the rings on and all the accomplishments they had made in the past. So he was real noticeable at first. And then even before he walked in, my dad had gone to Shepherd, So I had already known about them and all their successes. So I was really excited to talk to him. And then we had talked for a little bit and then he had left. And about three days later, he called me and asked me to come, on, come up on an official visit. I went up there and I loved it. Uh, the team, the, the guys who hosted us, treated us like, you know, teammates and family right away before even knowing our names. And I kind of just fell in love with the program and the school and committed three days later. Interesting. Well, I mean, um, again, great program um, that you were able to be a part of. Um, I do want to kind of backtrack a little bit because I. Um, I don't have the full story in my notes. So um, I realized you went to Clarksburg High School in Clarksburg, Maryland. Um, did you participate in any other sports other than football, like, you know, when you attended there? Yeah, I played lacrosse in my in the offseason of football. So um, how big of a lacrosse guy were you, man? I mean, is that something that you really enjoy? Uh, going into high school, I was I played all the sports growing up. Played basketball, football, and I got into lacrosse kind of uh, later on, going into like middle school. And I love the sport. Um, it kind of reminded me of when you had the ball of having the football and making the same type of cuts and all that. So I loved that. I played midfield, so that was nothing but running. Mm. And you know, I just loved that that type of sport. It was physical. You hit people with a stick. That was always mm. fun. You know. And uh, going into high school, it started to translate for me well on the field for both sports. Interesting. So, um, uh, yeah, it's, it's certainly fun cross-checking a guy with a stick. Um, uh, very fairly similar, at least to the aspect of like hockey for some people um, that are um, you know big fans of that. Um, and not a lot of uh, lacrosse out west, but certainly in the you know, Maryland slash uh, Northeastern area, very popular uh, amongst, uh, you know, college guys there. So, uh, so Brian, um, you played some lacrosse. Obviously, you stuck with football. Um, why do you love this game of football so much? Um, I love this game because I love what it teaches you outside of football. You know, like looking back, I played this game my whole life and I excel in a lot of the skills of teamwork. Uh, communication and other other aspects of like what football kind of brings to the table and it's all thanks to football you know so yeah so um and of course um it's gotten to you you to where you are right now um your first team I think you were first team all conference right this season correct so um and again like I said having a fantastic time there at Shepherd um talk about Shepard just as a student in your experience there I mean um what, what were you majoring in uh during your time there I majored in sports management that was part of one of the rec courses there that they offered um in my time there just as a student you know like on a football field you know you build a relationship with coaches and I guess you know in the student in the classroom you build relationships with your professors I was able to build a relationship with one of a professor that I remember forever, uh, Dr. Kendig. She helped me through all the way from freshman year to my last assignment. 
She's always had my back, and that's somebody I always appreciate from Shepherd. Yeah, Shepherd. Uh, if, if people have never been there, very very small, tight knit community. Um, you might miss it if you blink. Um, but um, it's it's a nice campus, man. Um, appreciate my time. I was able to actually go out there and visit you guys on a couple of different occasions. So um, a very fun experience. So hopefully I'll get a chance to do that again uh, later in the future. Um, so talk about this, uh, I don't know, phenomenal offense that you've been a part of, man. I mean, again, like some uh, some awesome weapons. Um, just go ahead and, I don't know, describe it to me in the best way that you can. I mean, what would you, how would you say, um, what would you say about your guys' offense? So our offense is very fast and very uh, technical, uh, the way we like to do it. Um, you know, you saw about name dropping on Tyson Bajan. You know, when you have a guy like that back there identifying the mic and calling out, whatever we need to call out, you know, that's somebody that uh, really makes the game a lot easier. And then as far as, you know, having the weapons for him uh, this year, you know, we've had people like Marlon Cook, Ronnie Brown, EJ, me. And then last year, you know, even you know, Wetzel and um, Josh Gonteric and guys like that, you know, uh, it, the, every weapon we have is different and unique and it just makes our offense that much faster and that much better and helps us win on Saturdays. Yeah, I mean, having, uh, you know, Bajan back there, um, really just, uh, I don't know, just executing the plays like to perfection. I mean, finding, you know, whoever's open, you know, getting the ball down the field. I mean, he's the kind of guy who I felt, um, you know, could just get the job done. So um, he's obviously going to, moving on to um, the Senior Bowl, going to have a, a, a great time there. Um, and then, of course, some of those other weapons, um, uh you know, Ronnie Brown, I believe, did a fantastic job this season. A lot of people uh, got their eye on him. Um, and then, of course, you out there um, as a tight end. Um, tell me about you as a tight end. How would you describe yourself and your um, maybe some of your, you know, better attributes as a player? Uh, I believe uh, I'm a vertical threat uh, in the passing game. I believe I can make a big impact. Uh, I know. On Sundays, I watch Travis Kelsey a lot. He's he's a hell of a player to watch, and I like to make my game after him. And I look at him, and I watch him on the Chiefs with Patrick Mahomes, and they have a great connection, right? And that's one of the first things I, I realized watching him and Pat play. So I always wanted that same connection with Tyson. So always, you know, since Tyson got here, in, you know, his freshman year, we started working in the summer, just trying to develop a connection and just trying to develop a chemistry. And, you know, four years of working on it, it paid off in the our senior year. Yeah, I remember being up in the booth, and I'm like uh, looking at this tight end down there who's uh, got some pretty decent size to him, you know, about six four two forty ish. So, and I'm thinking, man, they really need to give this guy the ball. I mean, um, a lot of mismatches um, that you guys can create um, with a guy like yourself. So, um, and um, had a very successful run. So. Uh, it's just kind of nice seeing you you guys develop into really what you are. And that is um, probably really right now, like the, the most respectable piece of heck team. So um, I love that for you guys. So I uh, kind of stole my next question, which is fine with regards to, um, you know, who you're looking at at the next level. So uh, Travis Kelsey, certainly, you know, one of the best. Um, when you think about your own personal development, over the years you've been at Shepherd, um, take me back a little bit as to maybe how you have developed, like when you first came in, and uh, you know, you know, getting yourself to where you are now. Like, how did that, um, uh, how did that evolution take place? So coming out of high school, I had played uh, quarterback my senior year. Uh, before coming to Shepherd, I only played one year of tight end. That was my junior year of high school. Uh, and then getting to Shepard, you know, I came in with a ton of ton of freshmen, ton of other tight ends. We had about eight guys in our group. Uh, at the time, uh, DJ Cornish was a tight end, so he was a great guy to watch um, and try to kind of mimic some of the things he does. And then, you know, going on through my years and going to my sophomore year and all that, guys kind of take other routes and other paths, and the group kind of gets smaller, and then it ended up being, you know, DJ Wetzel and me. 
And then DJ ended out his senior career with a good career. And then Wetzel came in and did his thing and had a great career. And then I had the chance to watch both of them uh, succeed on the field. And uh, I was just looking to come in this year and just, you know, carry the torch and continue the legacy of great tight ends at Shepard. Yeah. So, I mean, obviously this past season, you were the, the, you were the guy at tight end. Um, and so, um, I don't know, sometimes as a starter, there is this, um, I don't know, leadership role that I think a lot of people take on. Um, do you see yourself as a leader? Like, talk to me about that, if you don't mind. Absolutely. I mean, even, you know, when you talk about like starting, I, I 100% agree, you know, it comes with the leadership role. But I feel like um, the way I am, my personality, I'm already, I was already a leader. I didn't need a starting role for anyone to know that. Um, you know, but just having the starting role and being able to go out there and execute the right plays. And then if the play isn't executed on my part, being able to take coaching and then showing the younger guys that that's how it's done of, you know, it's okay to mess up. You got to be able to be coachable and get it back to the next rep and just gotcha. things like that. Gotcha. Um, so let's kind of work towards um, some, some of the great moments that you've had there on the field. Um, as you're prepping up to get yourself um, out there on the field, do you have any sort of, uh, I don't know, pregame rituals or anything, anything wacky that you feel is, uh, you know, that you kind of put yourself through as you're getting yourself like all taped up and ready to go? Um, nothing too wacky. Uh, I tape, I, something that was a little weird. I guess I taped everything myself, uh, from my spatting, my cleats to, to my wrist. I always made sure I did it. And then I guess another thing that I picked up this year was like taking tablespoons of salt just before, just like when you wake up in the morning, you just chug water and get some salt, start retaining some water and all that. So that's, just some weird stuff. That's a little wild. Um, I remember as a, um, I, I don't mean to digress too much, but I remember when um, I, I did some cross country, I used to know a guy who put like some sugar packets like in his, uh, you know, gear who would like take them like as he was running. <laughs> so um, uh, certainly, certainly something fun is a little bit of a cheat, um, but um, I, I don't know if the, if, if today he would get away with the, that sort of thing, but uh, um, so uh obviously some great moments for you um, out there on the field. Um, You know, some great moments in the playoffs, certainly, um, you know, this year. Um, What do you feel has been your biggest uh, personal highlight um, when you think about some of the plays and games you've been a part of? Um, Some highlights, you know, I was able to get in the end zone a couple of times this year and it was really nice to do, but I like I like the plays that you know Coach uh, Haynes, our offensive coordinator this year, was always talking about taking the ordinary play and making it extraordinary. So I always like the you know the flat routes and turning those into 10, 15 yard gains or doing something in the mix of getting extra yards or something like that. Um, but I think the one that sticks out the most is the slippery rock game, just because you know Tyson we had a play where. We had a mesh concept, and I'm going towards our sideline. Tyson's going out the other way, and we don't got anybody open. He kind of looks back and flicks it back to me. And I got, you know, eight to ten yards of room in front of the defender, and we got to get out of bounds too. So I kind of just jump, you know, kind of get a hurdle in, land out of bounds, get the clock stopped. And uh, I thought that was a nice um, clip of me being able to work in open field and get the job done with a little extra uh, cherry on top. Well, cool. Well, I mean, obviously you guys were able to, uh, you know, do a fantastic job, uh, you know, this season. Um, what is that? Super regional? That was this year or was that last year? That was this year. That was the second round of playoffs. Awesome. Well, I mean, you guys, uh, again, um, Shepherd is a wonderful place uh, to, to play. You guys have had such a, a great offense. Um, and hopefully that will continue in the years to come. Is there any any guys like um, coming up in the program right now that a lot of people need to know? Yeah, um, we got we got a ton of people that are coming up. We got two freshman receivers that are really going to be impactful players. They they actually started the the final four game. You know, we got Cam Dorner and um, uh, Knuckles, number eighty three and number eighty one two freshmen, uh, two freshman studs who will have, without a doubt, a uh, electric career at Shepard. Nice. Well, uh, definitely look, something to look forward to in the coming years. Um, 
I want to take a moment, just kind of step off the football field a little bit, get to know this Brian Walker guy. So um, uh, tell me something about yourself that maybe not everybody knows. Uh, something interesting, fun, unique, whether it be hobbies or something. Uh, tell me something that uh, you want to share. Go for it. Um, My favorite sport to watch live is actually hockey. I think that's one of the most electric sports to be in the stadium. I'm a huge camaraderie guy. I'm a huge energy feeding off everyone else's energy. And I think being in a stadium with the horns going off and the bright lights, and I think that's just a, a, a big party every time that they have an event at the Verizon Stadium. Was it a Capital One? This Capital I, One stadium. I have no idea what they're calling it these days, man. I think it's uh, yeah, AT, yeah. it was AT&T. It was, it was a lot of different things. So, um, so are you a big um, Caps fan? Is that um... – you know, can I yeah, say yeah. that or no? Yep. Cavs. Okay. I was, I got a uh, whole beacon on the team anymore, but I was a big fan of him when he was. And uh, I have another shirt from when they won the Stanley cup a few years back. Sweet, man. Well, um, uh, Hey, you got, you got to be a fan. Um, You know, obviously you're, you're, you're more than just a football fan. You're a hockey fan, like you said. So, um, and of course, um, you know, having a, having a successful, uh, you know, franchise that's local is nice to have um uh, at least if you're into other sports because if you're into football you know sorry i digress um but anyways um uh anything else you want to tell me about you i mean any other um hobbies or interests um if, if you were to have like i don't know let's just say a cheat meal what's a good cheat meal for you when you're thinking about like uh you know, maybe a, a, a dinner or something, or maybe like a local um, hot spot that you want to go to, uh, you know, in the Germantown uh, area or something. I'm a big fan of sushi and a, a real local great spot to go get some sushi. Raku. Um, it's right here in Germantown, right off of Fox Chapel. And uh, they don't, you know, you can't go wrong there. They have a buffet there. It's like $20 a person. You go in there. Where, where was that again? The recording didn't catch it. So it's called uh, Yuraku. It's right here in Germantown, right off of Fox Chapel, right in the shopping center. Gotcha. Wanted to make sure that they get a shout out for for sure. So, um, all right. Well, um, let me ask you one more good one. Um, you have a favorite movie? Man, I'm a movie fanatic. You can you give me a genre. Uh, anything, man. Action movie. An action movie. Um. I've always been a fan of the Mission Impossibles with um, Tom Cruise. Gotcha. Well, hey, Tom Cruise has had a, a lot of great, great ones there for sure. So, um, That's a new movie. Brian, as we wrap this up, um, I do want to um, give you one last opportunity to talk to a lot of scouts who um, maybe want to, you know, know a little bit more about this guy. You know, why, what makes him a le legitimate prospect? I mean, um, go ahead and give these guys your pitch as to why they need to take a chance on you and, and bring you into their franchise. So uh, me, go, go for it. Makes me a legitimate prospect is, you know, uh, I've taken um, advantage of every opportunity I've had. Uh, I got one chance to start here at Shepherd, and I made the most of it. I was able to achieve All-American and all the great stuff. So really all I'm saying is that I need one opportunity to show y'all what I can do and what I can bring to y'all's program, y'all's company. Yeah. So again, um, we've, we've talked about this before. I mean, been a part of very successful offense there at Shepherd university. And now you're in this position where, um, you know, professional teams really need to know who you are, man. I mean, um, there's this guy here who can, get open, get downfield, hurdle some defenders and make some plays. So uh, really looking forward to uh, what the future has in store with you. All right. Yes, sir. Thank you very much. Sure. Once again, we got with us, Brian Walker. He's a tight end out of Shepherd university. Uh, def definitely check him out.